Open Hockey Academy in Metro Detroit tonight, counting the losses left by a heist. But the thieves were caught on camera and didn't appear to be too confident in their game plan. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville live in Clinton Township tonight with a video for us. Aaron? Stephen, right now we're on the side of the Hockey Sports Academy in Clinton Township, and like you said, it looks like these guys had no idea what they were doing yesterday. Behind me, you can see a surveillance camera. There's a whole bunch outside. There's also a whole bunch of these cameras inside. These guys yesterday, they did not cover their faces. This all went down around 8.15 last night. I'd love to get them on the ice. <laughs> That's for sure. But, and what, uh, rough them up against the boards? That is right. That's right. <laughs> Owner Jason Barber wasted no time describing exactly what he would do to the two guys caught on surveillance video inside the Hockey Sports Academy yesterday. The Clinton Township facility on Kelly Court trains everyone. It works with young kids, those highly skilled, even a few Detroit Red Wings have trained here from time to time. But it was the cameras getting a workout here, following the every move of these criminals. They spent so much time in here, right? They walked into the office, clearly they didn't know what they were looking for. They were looking all over the place. The two men were extremely indecisive, not knowing what to take or go after. So that's where kids work on their shots, uh, quick release. Barber tells Action News a trainer had been working with an athlete in the back when these guys walked in at the same time a mother out front was leaving. After looking around for about five to six minutes, one guy would eventually hand off a safe filled with money. As they walked out of the building, still more indecision. It makes you wonder if they, they see cars out driving by and they're like, oh, we can't go out there. Or, it, it, you know, they're wondering, should we do this? Should we not do this? Should we put it back? I mean, they, they, they tried to wipe away fingerprints with their T-shirts. I mean, it, it definitely doesn't look like they do this often. The owner says he doesn't know exactly how much money was taken, but he knows it was hundreds and hundreds of dollars. These are very, very clear images, so someone knows these guys. For now, we're live in Clinton Township, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. Certainly seems like it. Very clear pictures. Thank you so much, Aaron.